travel's big. And that's one thing I had to adjust to when I got to the NBA. There's no back-to-backs in college. If you play two road games in a week, you know, it's, it's very uncommon. And now, you know, you go on the road in the NBA for like six games, but there's days in between, so it's like a 12-day road trip. I wish this was backwards, you know, we were going to L.A. and then Utah on a back-to-back. Yeah, me too. Because then I would have went home. There's like no time to go home. Nah. It sucks. We're getting at what, like 11? You don't, you don't even know where you're at sometimes. You know, I, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and like, oh yeah, I am in Utah. <laughs> so I don't even know what city I'm in. You know, that's how bad it is. First I used to stay up, you know, play video game all night. Then I realized, you know, the morning comes fast, especially when you're getting in at 2 a.m. It's funny how life changes. I remember when I was younger, we would try to find the local mall. Like, that was the big thing for us. Like, whatever, whatever city we were in, we literally would just go in and walk around the mall. Now, I literally use this time just to relax, this downtime, just shut my mind off. People think it's just the games. Oh, it looks like just such a glamorous life. And don't get me wrong, we're all blessed. But it's not that easy. You're constantly consumed with it. I did not sleep. Hell no. I slept about three hours. Four hours, maybe. I think once you have a family, your your perception changes about the world in general. You know, it's it's different responsibility. When I was younger, it was just me. Yeah, you got to make a real conscious effort to make sure you're really in your family's lives because we're gone half the time away from our families. So they get in a routine without you being around. My father played professional overseas and we didn't spend that much time together, but I got to visit him two months out of the year. When I visit him in Italy, I got to see how long his day was. Most of the time he's at practice or getting treatment on his body and seeing what he could do with his family that like he played basketball made me want to work that much harder. Coming into Utah with 15 games left. We got players injured. We're going to be out manning games. Make sure you cross half court, Ronnie. Tyson keeps saying, you know, we're building for next year. We're building for the future. Let's go, ball, 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 ball. In order for us to make the playoffs next year, it has to start right now. There's one thing we know we know how to win on the road. We embrace the process, and not only do you deserve it, but it's time to take a step forward and continue to play hard. When you fall in love with the process and you do it the right way, you have a winning mindset, and the culture is set to make that push, you know, and become a playoff team. I know we're building for the future right now. You know, we have a good young core, and, you know, we just have to keep working. We're all we got. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, go fast. Here we go. One, two, three. We all we got. I hate losing, and I refuse to allow it to become me. I mean, the biggest thing is right now, we gotta take a look at this game, you know, see where things went wrong, and then, by tomorrow, you gotta let it go. Yeah, the grind is incredible. You know, it's not just the game, it's the travel also. I'm trying to get in LA and trying to get some rest, you know, and then lock in on them tomorrow. I didn't understand it at first, that I was the outsider that thought just professional basketball is just the game only. Then they go home and get to live the great lifestyle with all the money that they have. Now that I'm here, it's that, you know, that's it's real life. You know, the NBA is a lot harder than people think. You know, it's, it's a lot different than college. It's a lot different. <laughs>